Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. I'm gonna show you how to improve your health in 30 seconds per day by doing this. Cold showers, the benefits. One, it impacts the immune function by having improved overall function. It improves leukocytes, granulocytes, interleukin-6, which is a cytokine, and natural killer cells. They did a study in 2015 of 3,018 adults, and they looked at the rate of people who took a cold shower for 30 seconds per day and the rate in which they called in sick. The people who took a 30 second cold showers, uh, shower every day reduced their uh, sick rate by 29%. So they called in sick less often than the person who took a warm shower. Number two, metabolism. It increases your metabolic rate. So let's say if you're on a dietary plan and trying to lose weight, if you included a cold shower, it may improve the outcome of the weight loss. Number three, memory and mood. It activates the sympathetic nervous system. So the body, uh, when you're in a cold uh, shower, goes into kind of a little bit of a shock state. So the sympathetic system will drive up, stimulating your entire nervous system temporarily and stimulating blood flow. Two, it increases endorphins or good hormones in your body. Also stimulates the peripheral nervous system. What that means is the nerve endings in your hands and your feet, they all go back up to the brain. So it has a overall function of increasing mood and energy and cognitive function because it's stimulating the brain. <clears throat> Number four, pain. Reduces chronic pain and inflammation, right? Regular cold showers can reduce symptoms from asthma, muscle tension, rheumatoid arthritis, as well as fibromyalgia. So the global impact of a cold shower is reducing inflammation, which is key to help managing pain. Number five, post-exercise recovery. Decreases muscle soreness post-exercise, as well as uh, inhibiting hyperthermia. So some people, they exercise, their body starts to overheat. Um, so a cold shower can help the recovery process for that. Now, cold showers are difficult. It's not easy to jump into a cold shower. So what I would suggest is going into the shower, start warm, and then slowly go towards cold to your tolerance. And then once you get to that point, you can try to do all cold and stay there for 30 seconds, and then go back into a warm state. 30 seconds a day has been shown to make an impact. However, you can go longer. Now, the caution is if you have cardiac conditions and you have certain medical conditions that won't allow you to do this, you know, you have to be careful. You have to go and meet with your physician and talk about uh, the cost benefits of doing a cold shower. Now, when you look at cold showers or ice baths, it's been popularized by a gentleman called Wim Hof. Um, his method is more about breathing, right? Breathing technique as well as cold showers uh, to change physiology. Uh, I wouldn't suggest doing that right off the bat. I would just stick with maybe starting with a cold uh, face wash, right? You wash your face in very cold water for 30 seconds, and then you build up to taking a lukewarm shower to a kind of a cold shower, and then a real cold shower for 30 seconds. And then when you feel confident, and, and if you discuss it with your physician, you can consider doing ice baths or ice plunges, which can have a significant impact on health. Now, oftentimes when we talk about um, uh, functional medicine or nutrition and so forth. We talk about supplements and, and you know magnesium and coenzyme Q10 and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, there are so many things you can do that is basically free, right? Changing your diet to an anti-inflammatory diet, getting better sleep, reducing stress, 
getting more sunshine, deep belly breathing, cold showers. These are all free. So you can go ahead and do these types of things to help benefit your health without going out and spending a lot of money on supplements. So do the basic foundational stuff first. Get the proper sleep, reduce stress, right? Take a cold shower, eat better. Those are the basic foundational things that you should do before spending money on supplements, okay? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.